Colossians chapter 1 from verse 27. Say, to whom God will make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 18 said the eyes of your understanding being lightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the sense and Colossians chapter 1 verse 27 make us to understand that the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saint is Christ in you. Christ in you. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 says, And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus so every need that you have has been met in Christ and that Christ is in you amen that Christ now lives inside of you What is the Bible trying to make us to understand? Which means the same God that said in the book of Haggai chapter 2 verse 8 that the silver is mine and the gold is mine now lives in you. That same very God lives in you. So the same God that created the whole world now lives in you and now lives in me the one that said every animal in the wilderness are mine and the cattle of a thousand here are mine that same very God lives in you The God that said, I know every bird in the mountains and creatures of the fields. That same God lives in you. In Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 20, this God created the world by his word. In Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3, he uphold all things by the word of his power. So the riches of his glory is his word. The riches of his glory is his word. And the word of God is a person. The word of God is a person. John chapter 1 verse 3 says, And without him, nothing was made that was made. Without him, the word, nothing was made that was made. Christ is in you. Christ means the anointed one. And I said here that Christ means Jesus, the Holy Ghost. Amen. How many of us believe in Trinity? Amen. God in three persons. I, I think that the people that explain that, they not really explain it well. God is one but have three offices the same God 
but he have three offices so in one office he is the father in another office he is the word and in another office he is the holy ghost so christ means jesus the holy ghost jesus the holy ghost that's why jesus said i'm not going to leave you as an orphan i will come to you and he began to introduce another office in the person of the holy spirit first john chapter one from verse one from verse four said that you have overcome them for greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world now that you know that christ is in you you have to begin to call forth things if everything that you see on earth was created by the word of god and that word is christ and that christ is in you then you have to call forth whatsoever that you want call to reality those things that you want Romans chapter 4 verse 17 say calling those things that be not as though they were that is how God performed his own duty Jesus when he needed money he called money inside a fish and said to the pit and said to Peter go there and catch the fish remove the money from its mouth and pay this with calling those things that be not as though they were if you understand this i tell you you cannot be broke again in your life you begin to call forth things those things that you need call it forth The Bible said in Psalm chapter 138 verse 2 it said for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name but Jesus said in John chapter 14 verse 13 he said and whatsoever you shall ask in my name he said I will do it that the father may be glorified in the son how come the Bible say God magnify his word more than his name and Jesus is saying whatsoever you ask in my name i will give you what does this thing mean what does it mean it means that the name jesus christ is the incarnate name for the word of god amen the name jesus christ is the incarnate name for the word of god john chapter 1 verse 14 he said and the word was made flesh what was the name of the word jesus so now when you pray in jesus name you are praying with the word of god when you say father in the name of jesus that name is representing the word of god that name Jesus represents the word of God hallelujah so you are going to call forth things today whatsoever that you need you are going to call it forth Jesus said whatsoever you ask in my name shall be given unto thee unto thee God speaking say bring your strong reason what is your strong reason the word and they overcame him by the word 
they overcame him by the word and by the word of their testimonies and that word is the name Jesus that's why the Bible said that therefore God has highly exalted him what is he the word that word that was made flesh that became Jesus Christ that there are the mention of the name Jesus that every knee should bow kneels in heaven and earth, on earth and under the earth that every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord why because it was him that created all things it was him Jesus that created all things let's open our Bible to the book of Colossians Colossians chapter 1 from verse 13 who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son who is doing this is the father the father translated us into the kingdom and who did he use to do it Jesus Christ in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins who is the image of the invisible God the firstborn of every creature for by him we are all things created did you see by him Jesus we are all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth visible and invisible whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers all things we are created by him and for him so even the witches we are created by Jesus and verse 17 say and he is before all things and by him all things consist and he is the head of the body the church who is the beginning the first born from the dead that in all things he might have the preeminence for it pleased the father that in him should all fullness dwell verse 20 and having made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things unto himself by him I say whether they be things in earth or things in heaven so through Jesus God was able to reconcile all things to himself So God is in you and you are not meant to be broke. Anytime you need something, call it to come to you. When God created the world, he called things to manifest by his word. And that word now lives in you. that word now lives in you listen when you understand this I am teaching you today when you say things you you will no longer doubt it again you will speak things you will no longer doubt it because the Bible says everything was created everything was created by the word of God everything and that word is now an incarnate word that lives in you and the word was made flesh that word became a human being so now we carry God inside of us we carry the word of God in our mouth so when you speak it 
one of the day God told me, he said, this thing is what Pape Dahosa understood. That when the grandmother came and told him, stop uh, all this thing that they have discussed in our coven that they are going to kill you. He looked at the grandmother and told her that the person that is the leader of the witch, of the witch is there, is already dead. The man, the man said, no, take it, don't say it again. He said, I said, the woman, the person have died. He understood this thing that when he speak it, it must happen. It must come to pass. So, our prosperity is in us. It's inside of us. So, if you can be able to call it forth, whatsoever that you want, you will see it manifest. If you can call it forth, and you are not weak in calling things you call and you are patient you are you are, you are rejoicing in the lord expecting in fact before you call anything make sure you have seen it you have feel it you want something and you just imagine yourself having it and you begin to call it to be like you want this phone in your imagination you're already using phone and maybe you don't have money to buy it you begin to call it amen i pray for you in the name of jesus you will never lack anything again the prosperity of god is in you that prosperity that you're looking for is christ in you the hope of glory you have to begin to engage that Christ that is in you and begin to call it. He said, God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. And that Christ is in you. So your need has been met by you. When you say, Lord Jesus, I accept you. And he entered. Whatever you want, call it forth. whatsoever you need call it forth and when you begin to call it you will see it manifest when you begin to call it you will see it manifest this is how rich our God can be what I'm telling you now somebody that is not spiritual will not be able to understand it because money is spiritual. Money is spiritual. So, when you call things in the realm of the spirit and it has appeared, nothing stops it from manifesting on earth here. I am praying for somebody here in the name that is above every name from today you will begin to call those things that you want to be and they will become a reality in your life those things that you want it to manifest like I told you that those things are already inside of you you have to begin to call it forth call it forth you want to build a house that house is in you you want to buy a car that car is in you begin to call it i call forth whatsoever i need there is one thing that uh, obat angel wife one of the testimonies that she shared she said when she met the young man the young man just approached her, talked to her, showed her some, told her some of the visions, and brought something that he drew and said, This is going to be our house. So, very portable, beautiful place that have not been. The man has not started living there, but he's carrying a paper. He said, This is where we are going to live. And the woman saw both beautiful swimming pool and all manner of things. 
and in a few years time they started living there let me tell us something whatsoever that you have not first of all pictured it will be difficult for you to live in that world for you to live in a world that you want to live in you must first of all have the picture of the place that you want to live inside and when you have the picture you begin to call it to be and in a short time you will see yourself having it a woman told me how her husband bought a car he said the man saw the car that he want and put it as his profile picture boats on everywhere you don't know why he put it so that anytime he pick his phone he'll be seeing that car and after some time the man started driving the car your prosperity is in you is in you it is you that will produce the, the world that you want to live inside your prosperity is in you calling those things that be not as though they were so you first of all picture those things that you haven't have yet and see yourself inside it and begin to call it forth what is his name of blessed memory he shared the testimony how when he was starting his ministry, young Gicho, he needed a, a bicycle and uh, one other thing. And he first of all pictured the kind of bicycle that he, he needed. And he began to call it forth. Went to the church in the morning and announced, Church, praise the Lord, I now have my bicycle. And uh, people that we are curious say pastor we want to see it and they escorted the, he says in my house they were mean they want to see it he took he took them to his house and they did not see anything he said well i am pregnant of that bicycle and very soon you're going to see it and they started laughing amen and went everywhere and said we have seen a pastor that is pregnant of a bicycle and after a short time somebody brought that thing to that pastor it's not everything that you must buy with your money if you can call things to comfort it will come that is how God does his own things everything you see on earth is is owned by god so whatever you want call it forth christ is in you but you need to begin to engage the christ that is in you in order to produce the riches of christ that is in you hallelujah i pray for us today grace to begin to call forth things rest upon you men live in a world that they created by themselves men lives in in a world that they created by themselves you see sometimes why people don't achieve things is because they just wrote things down and pray over it they don't go and check it again let when you become a burden in your heart and you are checking it every day your eyes is seeing it <laughs> one of the day a young man called me that he want to marry and he don't have money i say is that what you want he said yes i just want money to marry i told him take a paper write down those things all the money all the money that you needed for your marriage he wrote it down i said look at it very well he was looking at it i said can you see it now he said yes i said now close your eyes imagine you counting this money and you are giving your in-laws you are settling them 
and he said man of God I can see it and we begin to call it to come to pass in a short time it happened in a short time he did what it it happened that's why there are people that talk about the law of attraction that you can set your mind to attract something you can set your mind to attract something and when you set your mind to attract something that thing must come Amen. So, if we begin to engage our mind and engage our voice, I tell you, our our world will change. Our world will change. Amen. Jesus speaking, say, who? Whoever believes in me, the word, whoever believes in me, the word. He said, The works that I do shall he do also. What are the works? He called forth light out of darkness. He healed the sick. That is the works that he was doing say the works that I do so when you read uh, when you read all your bible Genesis and Revelation is Jesus at work by the word of God so you see all things that were created by the word God expects you to also look at your own world and begin to say things that you want to happen things that you want to see in your world begin to prophesy it to be when you are pro when you are prophesying it to be don't give up don't give up keep saying it you will see it happen you will definitely see it happen so there are things you say you think that they are not happening if you can hold on you will see it manifest if you can hold on you will see those things so so Jesus expect us to create things with our word your prosperity is in your is in your mouth your prosperity is in your mouth And Jesus said, and even more, you will do greater things. More. So you are to produce more wonders of God. Can I tell you, if you are waiting for Nigeria government to end banditry, it might never happen. But if we that are child of God, children of Elohim, can begin to command banditry and Boko Haram, to leave the earth it will come to pass it will come to pass that's why bible say our weapons are not canal but they are mighty in pulling down strongholds so if we can speak the word if we can speak it in the atmosphere it must happen we are putting angels in charge.